There are some really easy ways to make your mid-journey images more interesting for social media, creating AI films, or just for fun. You can make them more immersive, animate them, make them talk, create 3D worlds. All of this can be done completely for free, and each of these techniques takes less than two minutes, some of them just a few seconds. And it doesn't have to be mid-journey images, they could be from any image generator, or even a real photo if those still exist. First up is Leapix. Go to convert.leapix.com, click upload, and easy as that, you have an immersive depth animation. There's sliders to change how long the animation cycle is and the way it animates. Also an advanced editor where you can get more customizable. Then just click share and select your export format. Super easy, but I love the way these look. They're kind of mesmerizing. These will get more advanced as we go along, but here's another super quick one. CapCut, it's not an AI tool, but this technique gets used a lot and it's really cool, so it deserves a mention. You need to download the phone app if you don't have it, start a new project, then upload your photos, select one, tap style, then select 3D Zoom or 3D Zoom Pro. This has been a trend for a while, but if you use it on the right images, it looks awesome. That applies to all these methods. There's the old adage, garbage in, garbage out, so you need to have good images. If you want any of the specific prompts I used, I'll always share them. Just ask in the comments and I'll reply with it. There were way too many to leave them all in the description. This tool is amazing. My last video was a deep dive into it, but since then they've opened it to the public fully and it's still completely free. The link to the Discord is in the description along with all the other tools. Once you're in the Discord, go to these generate channels, use the create command, type what type of movement you want in your scene, and click the plus one to upload your image, then hit enter to generate. Pika also does text to video where you just describe what you want without a reference image and it will create anything. My last video goes much deeper if you want more tips and examples. This is a pretty new tool that's completely free right now. You can turn your image into an immersive 3D environment. It's called Instaverse from Illumin AI. Once you open it, click 2D to 3D, then upload your image under 2D texture. It'll still look off because we need to add a depth map. So the quickest way to get one is back to Leapix. Upload your image there. It works best if you lower the edge dilation to zero. Then when you click share, use the option of depth map. Then back to Illumin and upload it. Then you can move around. The instructions on how to control the movement are up here. It's really amazing that this can be generated just from a 2D image. This one is research from Meta. It's fun and really easy to use. So it's designed to animate children's drawings, but you can upload any character you want. It just needs to be on a white background with every limb separate and visible. So if you want to generate something like this in Midjourney, add A pose or T pose to your prompt. I also add symmetrical and full body, then use a more vertical aspect ratio. It comes back well pretty consistently with that. Then to remove the background, a great free tool is remove.bg. Upload the image, then you can edit the result if it's not perfect perfect, and switch the background to white. Then back in here, click upload photo, then agree, then adjust the frame here if it doesn't capture the full character. On the next page, you can fix the mask if there's any issues, and then find each of the joints. It'll tell you what you're looking for up here, and then let it do its thing. And there it is. And we have a bunch of different animations to choose from. So again, it's made to animate children's drawings, so a lot of the animations are pretty silly, but it's fun to mess around with. Then you could key out the background and let it play over other Midjourney images. I might actually be using this for just quick animations in future videos. Also, it looks completely ridiculous if you upload a photo of a real person. Genmo is a really quick way to add cool animations. 
There's two tabs you can try in here. The old option, you just upload your image, ask what you want it to animate and let it run. It works well, but we're going to use the new Genmo chat feature. You could also generate an image here, do text to video, turn things into 3D objects, tons of cool stuff. But for this video, we're animating images. There's two ways to do this. One is to just upload your image and then chat with it. It can tell what's in the image you upload, then you can direct it from there. I'll just say animate it and see what happens. Its responses are pretty intuitive and this first result is great. But if you don't like it, you can ask it to make changes. Like here, the elephant wasn't moving at all. And that's pretty cool. I could keep going back and forth or start with a more specific instruction to get what I want. But if you wanna see the specifics and understand it a little better, after you upload your photo, click the plus button to use it as your reference image. Then click animate and this box will pop up. Describe what you want to happen in the animation. Then you can adjust the options like length and dynamism, which is how much variation there will be between frames. You could also animate a specific region. So I like this first animation a lot but let's test it out in the style of an oil painting and with the dynamism and exploration set to 50. It generates pretty fast and gives some really cool animations. And you could go into different styles or lengthen it and change the scene more. There's endless directions you could take it. And your fuel balance will reset to 100 every day, which is a pretty good amount, but if you need more, there is a turbo plan. So there's a few main tools for creating speaking avatars. I'll kind of mention them together here since they work very similarly. These are the tools people are using to create meme videos and faceless YouTube channels. So two of them are freemium plans that are really easy to use. The other is completely free, but a little more difficult. First, we'll look at DID.com. You can upload an image of a face, then either write your script and choose a voice, or you could upload your own audio, which could be you or a voice you trained using a tool like Eleven Labs. Then let it generate. You can generate up to five minutes for free. Depending on what you're using it for, that could be plenty. It's $5 per month after that. This is a demo of the software called DID. How do I look? Then the other tool was HeyGen. The same process once you're in there, they do have a lot of additional features as well. One difference is I have run into issues when trying to upload famous faces with DID and those usually work just fine with HeyGen. So that's the tool I use most of the time and you get one minute for free each month and it's paid after that. This is a demo of the software called HeyGen. How do I look? There is a completely free option called Sad Talker on Hugging Face. It's kind of the same idea here. You upload your source image, then upload your audio. You have to have the audio to upload. Then there's a few different settings. I like the expression scale around one to 1.5 and switch the face model to 512 for higher resolution, but it will take longer to generate. Now, if you have a nice computer, you can duplicate the space and upgrade the GPU. So it will be significantly faster. I do not, so I've only used it in here. And for pre-process, I use full. Otherwise, it crops down the section it's animating and you have to overlay it onto your original image after. Full essentially just does that for you. And selecting GFP GAN will increase the quality quite a bit. Then let it generate. Like I said, this can take a long time depending on how busy it is, like five minutes or an hour. But the results are really good if you have the time. This is the best fully free option I've come across. This is a demo of the software called Sad Talker. How do I look? This next tool has very broad capabilities. You can get cool stuff out of the box. If you learn and experiment, you can get really interesting animations with it. I actually use this tool mostly for video to video when I wanna add an effect over an existing video, but it works well to animate images too. And upfront, the free version of this is more limited. It's just a seven day free trial. It is $5 per month for the base plan after that. Click create a video, then begin with an image and upload your photo. Type in what you want to create in the first section. Then you can tell it what style you want it to create in or what I recommend, especially at first, is to select one of their styles. But you can definitely experiment for yourself. It usually comes back with cool stuff no matter what you put in there. Then select your settings. There's camera movement and how wild you want the animations to get. Then on the next screen, it will generate preview frames to give you a little bit of an idea what it will look like. And you can actually storyboard this out and have it transform and morph into different scenes as it evolves. But I'll just let it run like this. It takes a minute or two, depending on how long your video is. So I'll skip to a finish. Then here's how it looks with the evolve parameter set to 10. And here's a couple other short experiments.
So this one is a paid tool, but I wanted to include it because they just added the image prompting feature and it's come back with some pretty amazing results. This feature works similarly to Pika, but Runway is actually an entire suite of video and photo tools. Also, it's web-based instead of in Discord. But for this, I'm just testing out their image to video. So once you have an account, it's under generate videos, then gen two, and you'll add your image. So if you add a prompt, it uses your image sort of as a style reference, but doesn't really come back looking much like it at all. So you have to leave the prompt blank and just see what it comes back with. So you don't really have control, but I have gotten some pretty cool results with it. Another downside is your generations are fairly limited. So the costs start to add up, especially since you're just hoping it does something cool. I've had it come back with the image doing essentially nothing. So it's just wasting credits. They do have an unlimited plan, but it's pretty steep at $95 a month. That all being said, when it goes well, they have some of the best results with the highest quality out of any image to video yet.